I am weak. But I don't accept that. I don't accept that I am what I am and that that is what I'm doomed to be. No, I don't accept that. I'm fighting. I'm always fighting. I'm struggling and I'm scrapping and I'm kicking and clawing at those weaknesses to change them, to stop them. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. Get off the pity party. Wake your ass up. Awaken the beast inside. It's time to take shit to another level. It's game on. It's focus. It's go season. If you really got a problem with your life, you'll change it. You're not tired of being broke. You're not tired of being stuck. Because if you was tired, you would actually do some shit about it. Can't tell me you ain't tried. Anybody who is determined to do something, who wants something to be different, it will eventually be different. I'm tired of all of y'all sitting around. It's the community. It's the environment. Stop bullshitting, man. You're gifted. You're talented. God has much bigger plans for you in your life. Everything around you is going to change as soon as you change the things around you. It's very simple. I'm tired of everybody running around complaining as if you're on the receiving end of whatever this world wants to dump on you and you don't have a choice. Some of y'all running around talking too much. Shut up and do some shit different. Tired of people out here with all these excuses. Excuses sound best to the person that's making them up. You have created every excuse in the world, in your mind, and you have figured out a way to justify it in your mind, and it makes sense to you, that's why you're still in it. That's why you're out of shape. That's why you're still doing the same shit that you're doing, because you have just, it makes sense to you in your mind. You got a problem with it, but then you justify it. And once you justify it, you stay in it. I want you to stop coming up with reasons and excuses as to why you're doing the same shit over and over and over and over. There is a such thing as changing everything as soon as you change your mind. It's all in the way you think. It's all in your mind. Change your mind and it's going to change your life. We live in a world that we want to be as comfortable as we can. And we wonder why we have no growth. We wonder why when the smallest thing in our life gets difficult, we wonder why we cower and we run away. Because our whole life is set up that way. Our whole life is set, set up in, in the path of least resistance. We don't want to suffer. We don't want to feel discomfort. So the whole time we're living our lives in a very comfortable area. There's no growth in that. What was very uncomfortable was running. What was very uncomfortable was being on a diet. What was very uncomfortable was trying to face things that I didn't want to face. And I also realized when I was really big, I had no growth. Why? Because I was living comfortable. So I realized for me to find growth, I had to face all of these different things that made me very, very uncomfortable. One thing I faced was running. I absolutely hated running. But I knew for me to grow, I, wanted, I had to do this thing every single day. I wanted to start callousing my mind. I wanted to start becoming a better person. And how you become a better person, how you gain mental toughness, how you become the person you want to be, is constantly facing the things that you don't want to face. If you constantly run away from things that you don't want to face, how is there growth? When I first walked into the Navy SEAL recruiter's office, he looked at me and said, there's only been 35 African-Americans in 70 years make it through. You know what I said to myself? What if I can be the 36th? It's the what if I can pull off a miracle? What if? I can become someone that no one thinks I can be. And just that, just me talking about that, 
I have the hair going up on my arms because it makes me just like, what if? Every single person can greatly improve where they are from where they want to be. You can make that fucking journey and just sit there and cry and make excuses about your childhood. You don't have a fucking excuse. It's invalid. And most people are so blessed with so much good and opportunity that they take it for granted. They're fucking healthy, have average fucking intelligence. They were raised in a decent home. They have all these things and they take them for granted. Because even if you work at fucking McDonald's right now, you can make your fucking french fries better. You can make the burgers better. You can take pride in what you do at that fucking job and increase your position in that job and eventually end up owning a McDonald's franchise, which could earn you upwards of a million dollars per year. And we have people all day long, all they say is, you know, oh, I can't do it because of this. Oh, I can't. No, you choose not to do it. You choose to fucking play Call of Duty as opposed to fucking reading a book. You choose to not do the little things that are required. You choose to say things like, oh, they don't pay me enough to do that. You choose that shit. And guess what? The people who don't choose that shit are the ones that end up succeeding. That's it. There's nothing to it, you know? So any excuse that you want to give or say or do or whatever, it's bullshit. I don't care what it is. Everybody has a story. And your story is either, I have all this hardship so I couldn't make it, or it's going to be, dude, I had all this hardship and guess what? I still fucking made it and so can you. If you use your excuses that you've had a bad childhood as a reason why you couldn't do anything, you sure as fuck aren't going to matter and you're not going to make a dent in this world. We could talk about excuses all day, but dude, I don't feel bad for one mother person on this earth that makes excuses. And if you're listening right now and you're thinking, but you don't understand, no mother you don't understand. So what's your fucking excuse? Is it too cold where you live? Is it too hot where you live? Does it rain too fucking much? Whatever the fuck it may be. Maybe that shit's in your fucking head. Maybe that's your excuse for not being better. Life's a real big fucking picture. When I was young, all those things got in my head. Not smart enough, single mom, all that bullshit, own space in my head. If you're allowing people and things and situations to own space in your fucking head, you're losing.